and here we will get yellow. Now if you need magenta, maximum R value and blue value. Here you will get the magenta. So let's get started. Now we will see the circuit diagram. We need 3 transistor and it is BD139. All the emitters are connected to the ground. I am going to use this RGB LED strip and it has 4 pins black and RGB. Black is positive pin and all these 3 pins are negative and it is connected to red pin of the LED green and blue. So this black pin will be connected to 12 volt because it is 12 volt RGB LED strip. As we have seen it has 4 pins black and RGB. This will be connected to the 12 volt and this R pin will be connected to with this collector this green I'll connect here and here I'll connect blue pin and with the base of the transistor I'll connect 10 kilo ohms resistor and this is the middle pin of the potentiometer the potentiometer value is 10 kilo ohms one pin of the potentiometer is connected to the ground and the another pin is connected to the plus 12 volt so this is a very simple circuit now we'll see this in the practical this is the BD139 this pin is base the middle pin is collector and the first pin from the left side it is emitter I'll solder it on this these are 10 kilo ohms potentiometer BD139 and here I'll connect the 12 volt power supply now I'll solder them according to the circuit diagram. So this is how we have completed our soldering. Now we will test this circuit. Now I will connect this pin to this. Okay. Now I am turning off my light. Now all the potentiometer are in the minimum range and this is for R, G and B. Increasing R value, G and blue. With this you can mix up color and you can do as your wish. If you want white then you have to keep them equal so it is white if you need yellow then blue at minimum red at maximum and here we will get yellow now if you need magenta maximum R value and blue value here you will get the magenta and with this three you can mix up colors so this is how you can control RGB LED strip using three potentiometer and the transistor and this is low power circuit so I have used only 30 LEDs if you connect more LEDs then this transistor will heat up to connect more LEDs either you have to use powerful transistor or you can use PWM signal. So guys, this is all for today. Thanks for watching.